that's one word that I always want to say to everybody in my life now. That word is life is easy. It's so easy and fun. Before that, I, I never think like that. When I was in Bangkok, I feel like a, life is very hard, very complicated. I was born in a poor village from the northeastern of Thailand. And when I was a kid, everything is fun and easy. But when the TV came, many people came to the village, they said, you are poor. You need to follow succeed for your life. You need to go to Bangkok to pursue succeed, success in your life. So I feel bad, I feel poor. So I need to go to Bangkok. When I went to Bangkok, it's not very fun. I said, you need to learn, study a lot, and work very hard. And then you will get success. success. I work very hard, eight hours per day at least. But what I can eat is just a bowl of noodle per meal. Or sometimes a dish of fried rice or something like that. And where I stay, it's very bad. A small room with a lot of people sleep. It's very hot. I start to question a lot. When I work hard, why my life is so hard? It must be something wrong, because I produce a lot of things, but I cannot get enough. And I, I try to learn, I try to study, I try to study in university. It's very hard to learn in university, because it's very boring. And I start to look at the subject in university. Every faculty, most of them is destructive knowledge. It's no productive knowledge in university for me. When I look at something like a, if you learn to be architect or engineer, that means you ruin more. You, the more these people work, the mountain will be destroyed more. And the good land in Chapaya Basin will be covered with concrete more and more. We destroy more. If we learn agricultural faculty or something like that, that means you learn how to poison, to intoxicate the land, the water, and learn to destroy everything. I feel like everything we do is so complicated, so hard, and everything, we just make it hard. Life is so hard, I feel disappointed. I start to think about why I have to be here in Bangkok. I think, I thought about when I was a kid. Nobody worked eight hours per day. Everybody worked two hours, two months a year. Planting rice one month and harvest the rice another month. The rest is free time, 10 months of free time. That's why people have so many festivals in Thailand. Every month they have festival. <laughs> uh, because they have so much free time. Uh, and then, in the daytime, everybody even take a nap. Even now in Laos, if anybody, could, anybody go to Laos, you can people take a nap after lunch. And after they wake up, they're just gossiping, how's your son-in-law, how's your wife, uh, daughter-in-law? Uh, that's, people have a lot of time. But at that time, because of they have a lot of time, they have time to be with themselves. And when they have time to be with themselves, they have time to understand themselves. When they understand themselves, they can see what they want in their life. So pe many people see that they want happiness. They want love. They want to enjoy their life. So people see a lot of beauty in their life. So they express their beauty in many ways. Some people just carving the handle of the knife, very beautiful. The basket, they're weaving very nice. But now, nobody uses that word. Nobody can do something like that. People use plastic everywhere. So I feel like it's something wrong in there. I cannot live in this way of living. So I decided to quit university and went back home. When I went back home, I started to live like when I remember when I was a kid. I started to work two months a year. I got four tons of rice. And then 
the whole family is six people, we eat less than half a ton per year. So we can sell some rice. And then I dig, I dug two pond, two fish pond. We have fish to eat all year round. And we, I start a small garden, less, less than uh, half an acre. And I spend 15 minutes per day to take care of the garden. I have more than 30 variety of vegetable in the garden. So six people cannot eat all of it. We have surplus to sell in the market. We, start, we can make some income in there too. So I feel like it's easy. Why I have to be in Bangkok for seven years, working hard and then don't have enough to eat. But here, only two months a year and 15 minutes per day, I can feed six people. That's easy. And after that, I, before that, I think that stupid people like me, who never get a good grade in the school, cannot have a house. Because people who are clever than me, who get number one in the class every year, they spend, even they get a good job, but they need to work more than 30 years to have a house. But for me, who cannot finish university, how can I have a house? Hopeless. Well, people who have low education like me. But when I start to do urgent building, it's so easy. I spend two hours per day, five o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock in the morning. Two days per, two hours per day. And three months, I got a house. And another friend who was, who was the most clever in the class, he spent three months to build his house too, but he had to be in debt. He had to pay his debt 30 years. So. Compared to him, I have 29 years and 10 months of free time. Yeah. So I feel that life is so easy. Yeah. I never think I can build a house easy like that. And after that, I keep building a house every year, at least one house a year. Now I have no money, but I have many houses. Yeah. My problem is tonight, which house I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Uh, so, house is not a problem. Anybody can build a house. The kids 13 years old, after school, they make bricks together, make a house. After one month, they have a library. The kids can make a house. A very old nun can build a hut for herself. Many people can build a house. So, it's easy. If you don't believe me, try it. Mm. If somebody wants to have a house. And then, the next thing is clothing. I feel like I'm poor. I feel like I'm not handsome. I try to dress like somebody else, like a movie star, to make myself look good, look better. I spend one month to save money to buy a pair of jeans. When I wear it, I turn left and turn right, look at the mirror. Every time I look, I'm the same person. The most expensive pen cannot change my life. I feel like I'm so crazy, why I have to buy it? Spend one month to have a pair of pants. It doesn't change me. I start to think more about that. Why we need to follow fashion? Because when we follow fashion, we never catch up with it because we follow it. So don't follow it, just stay here. Do what we, use what we have. So after that, until now, 20 years, I never buy any clothes. All the clothes I have is left over from people. When people come to visit me, when they leave, they left, they left a lot of clothes there. So I have tons of clothes now. Mm. And then when people see me wear very old clothes, they will give me more clothes. <laughs> so my problem is I need to give clothes to people very often now. Uh. So it's so easy. And when I stop buying clothes, I feel like a, it's not only clothes. It's about something else in my life. I need to, I le what I learn is when I buy something, everything about I buy it because I, I like it, or I buy it because I, I need it. Mm. So if I buy it because I, I like it, that means I'm wrong. So I feel more free when I think like this. And the last thing is, when I get sick, what will I do? I very worry in the beginning, because when I have no money, what I will do? But I start to contemplate more. Normally, sickness is a normal thing. It's not a bad thing. 
Sickness is something to remind us that we did something wrong in my life, that's why we get sick. So when we get sick, I need to stop and come back to myself and think about it. What I did was wrong. So I learned how to use water to heal myself, how to use earth to heal myself. I learned how to use basic knowledge to heal myself. So after I rely on myself, this four thing, I feel like life is very easy. I feel something like a freedom or something that I feel free. I feel like I don't worry about anything much. I have less fear. I can do whatever I want in my life. Before that, I have a lot of fear. I cannot do anything. But now I feel very fear. I feel like I'm a unique person on this earth. Nobody like me. I don't need to make myself like anybody else. I'm the one, number one. So things like this make it easy, very light. And, and after that, I start to, uh, and to think about when I was in Bangkok, I feel very dark in my life. I start to think many people maybe think like me at that time. So I, we start a place called Pan Pan in Chiang Mai. This place, the main aim is just to saving seed, to collect seed, because seed is food. Food is life. If there's no seed, no life. No seed, no freedom. No seed, no happiness. Because your life will depend on somebody else. Because you have no food. So it's very important to save seed. That's why we focus on saving seed. That's the main thing to be in Pan Pan. And the second thing is, is the learning center. We want to have a center for ourselves to learn. Learn how to make life easy. Because we were taught to make life complicated and hard all the time. How can we make it easy? It's easy. But we don't know how to make it easy anymore. Because, because we always make it complicated. And now we start to learn and learn to be together. Because every, we were taught to disconnect ourselves from everything else, to be independent. So we can rely on the money only. We don't need to rely on each other. But now, to be happy, we need to come back, to connect to ourselves again, to connect to other people, to connect our mind and body together again. So we can be happy. Life is easy. And from beginning until now, what I learned is the four basic needs, food, house, clothes, and medicine, must be cheap and easy for everybody. That's the civilization. But if we make these four things hard and very hard for many people to get it, that's uncivilized. So now when we look at everywhere around us, everything is so hard to get. So I feel like now is the most uncivilized era of human on this earth. We have so many people who finished from university, have so many universities on the earth, have so many clever people on this earth. But our life is harder and harder. We make it hard for who? We work hard for who right now? I feel like uh, it's wrong. It's not normal. So I just want to come back to normal, to be a normal person, to be equal to animal. The bird make a nest in one or two days. The rat dig a hole in one night. But the clever human like us spend 30 years to have a house and many people can believe that I cannot have a house. They can believe that they can have a house in this life. So that's wrong. Why we destroy our spirit? Why we destroy our ability that much? So I feel like uh, it's enough for me to live in the normal way, in the unnormal way. So now I become, I try to be normal. But people look at me as abnormal people, <laughs> crazy people. But I don't care because it's not my fault. It's their fault because they think like that. So my life is easy and light now. That's enough for me. People can think whatever they want. I cannot manage anything outside myself. What I can do is change my mind, manage my mind. Now my mind is light and easy. That's enough. If anybody wants, to have a choice, you can have a choice. Choice to be easy or choice to be hard. It depends on you. Thank you.